How about other questions that we can address right now? Is there, is there a way to have like a data entry form? There is. Yes. Putting some data here, submit it, and it will. Yes, and actually, um, let me take a note about that. Monica and Natasha, do you have a pen I can use for a moment? Well, actually, let me borrow somebody else's. OK, so we're going to talk. There's actually a way to do that with queue contacts, which is one of the reasons we use queue contacts instead of the default contacts. Because it actually has a simple form thing that you can create your custom forms. Are there any functions that you're looking to have on your websites that we have not uh, mentioned yet? A voice greeting or a voice that could come on at, at some point if you wanted it on a certain page, not, maybe not the front page, but a person wants to. Well, I mean, per, my personal preference is that things don't come on unless you click, but like you said, you can click. So we can, we can talk about embedding uh, an audio file, which is the same as embedding a YouTube file, basically. I know you said you were not going to talk about e-commerce or mm -hmm. shopping carts, but maybe you could spend just a few minutes pointing us in the right direction. Okay, so I can do that right now because um, we have a few minutes now. Um, e-commerce, the granddaddy of e-commerce and shopping carts is called Virtue Mart. It's a major pain. Virtue Mart. Virtue, V-I-R-T-U-E, Mart. It's a major pain in the neck. Okay? Like, I don't want to play with it. Nobody wants to play with it. It's kind of the granddaddy. And it's actually listed in your extensions thing. You don't need to write it down. If you go to your, your it's probably in one of the tips pages, there's a section about um, Virtue Mart and the other options that are out there. Okay? By granddaddy, you mean the oldest or you mean like the biggest monster and everyone sort of. That's both. I mean, it, I don't know if it's actually the oldest, but it's, it's the most popular one that's used, but it's also like not easy to use, not intuitive, and is a major pain in the neck. So if you have someone devoted to you, you know, you have a programmer who's a friend of yours, you don't even need a programmer, but somebody who's very adapted this and who really wants to play with this and who knows CSS and wants to spend all their time formatting and stuff, then Virtuemart is your girl. But otherwise, I would suggest, l suggest you look at some of the other options that are out there. Virtuemart is the most powerful. Um, but the other, there's other options out there if you want to sell, let's say, single items, if you want to sell items within an article. Um, and so I, I did create a list in the, in the list of what the other options are. And this is another place where you would go to extensions.joomla.org and you would look at some of the reviews and see what, and you also go to the web pages of the people who created those extensions and see what they do and do not do. Um, and some of them charge, so you have to figure out whether it's, if you're going to be selling stuff, whether that's worth it for you or not. There are also extensions that let you sell documents, for example, and downloads. You can do that with Virtual but you can do that with other things as well. So let's say you wanted to have paid access to your files, you know, so you could do that. So let's say, you know, my, my speeches are available, but only if you pay me $5, there's a way to do that as well. In Joomla, there, there's extensions that will let you do that. Can you use just the PayNow button like the PayPal? Yes, you can embed a PayPal button, and there are modules and plugins that will let you do that, or you can do it manually if you prefer. But yes, and I mean, I can show you some websites that take PayPal. Um, let me actually open another one. So this is not very beautiful. Huh. This is actually our, our Joomla website that we use for our Joomla services. And um, there is a PayPal button right here. Enter amount, donate. Simple as you can get. Um, you can have other stuff as well. Let's see if I can pull up another one. Um, you can, if you use other extensions that are out there, some of them are paid, um, create ways to set up a whole form for a donation and then take someone to PayPal afterwards. So there's definitely different stuff you can do without getting into actual e-commerce. Now the thing to remember with e-commerce is that if you're actually going to process transactions on your website without PayPal, like not going to PayPal, then you need to have a secure website. This is um, more expensive to do. You have to have a certificate, you have to have other stuff, and it requires an understanding of security that you don't want to do if you don't know what you're doing. Basically, you could become liable um, if somebody cracks, you know, hacks into your website and grabs stuff. You never want to store um, credit card information, but as long as you're, if you're processing it through your website, you have various liability and security issues, which you want to avoid if possible. If your website absolutely can't avoid that, you need to talk to somebody who knows what they're doing in terms of security and Joomla and everything else before you set it up. Um, but the simplest option, of course, is to send people off to PayPal and let them do the transaction for you. I know that sometimes it doesn't seem very professional, um, but unless it also you need to think about how much money you're talking about, especially if it's small amounts and stuff. The amount you would invest in setting up your own e-commerce site with secure and everything is probably not going to be worth it for a small transaction, okay? So there's just stuff to keep in mind in terms of e-commerce. We, we steer pretty much everyone towards PayPal at this point. Um, so that's kind of my thing on e-commerce. And the other thing I want to mention before we're going to break 
is that if anyone's really into Joomla so far, I know you all are because I can see your like, happy faces and all, there's going to be a Joomla Day New England in Brattleboro on June 5th. Okay? It's going to be awesome. And it's like $50 to register and includes lunch. And I don't know how lunch is going to be, but we'll see. And um, it's going to be up in Marlboro. Actually, it's going to be in Marlboro, Vermont, not in Brattleboro. It's about 10 miles from Brattleboro at Marlboro College. And I want to see you all there, of course. Be, there's still tickets available. And if you Google um, Joomla New England or Joomla New England Day, New England Day Joomla, whatever it is, you'll find it. And you can still register through the Marlboro College Graduate Center. So that's additional training. That's, yeah, there's a whole schedule. There's also people going to talk about extensions, about templates, about development if you're into development. There's going to be people talking about, like, it's very cool. I, I was there last year. It was, it was really, really fun. I was on the organizing thing last year, not this year. But you know, it's still going to be a good event.